All right, who's excited about parking tickets? <laughs> yeah. You guys all have cars? Show of hands, how many of you love cars? How many of you drive around Boston and park, try to find parking at a street meter? How many of you try to game the system and uh, not pay the meter? Yeah, anybody get caught with a parking ticket recently? Really, not that many people? All right. Um, so my name is Court Johnson. I'm from Terrible Labs. We're a design and development shop here. Uh, we do mostly iOS, uh, Android, and web work with uh, Rails. And one uh, project that we've been working on recently is called Ticket Zen. Um, and we came up with the idea of Ticket Zen through a tweet from Paul English, who is the uh, founder of Kayak. And we wanted to build an application using Ruby Motion which is a new <coughs> framework that allows you to build iOS, native iOS apps using Ruby. And so Paul tweeted out one day, I wish I could take a picture of a parking ticket and have it be paid. So we were like, yeah, we can do that. Let's go do it. So while doing that, we came up with some interesting uh, findings about paying a ticket. Has anybody tried to pay a ticket within 24 hours of receiving it? Were you able to do it? OK, so that's one issue with Boston. It happens in many other cities. Um, and that's because the Boston ticketing system isn't in real time. So what happens is you'll get issued a ticket from the enforcement officer, they have to take their handheld device back to the city of Boston, they upload all the tickets, and then, and only then, can you enter your violation number in and then pay your ticket. Well, what happens between the time you get the ticket and the, the time that it's uploaded on the database? It's in your glove box, it's under the car, you forget to pay it, you get late fees. So. This is another th reason that we built Ticket Zen is to help you guys overcome these late fees. So I'll give you a quick demo of how it works. I tried to do a live demo here, but the connector for my phone wasn't working. So this is a Flinto prototype. Um, but I can give you a live demo after. We can scan real barcodes. It's really cool. So what you do is you see a ticket on your windshield. You walk up to it. You open Ticket Zen. You click Scan Ticket. You put this, the barcode, which you can see down here, into this. Uh, section of the screen. Once you do that, it will fetch all the information from the city of Austin. So as you can see, you can see why you got the ticket, when it was issued, all the violation number, and then it's kind of interesting because you can see that this ticket was 40 bucks, but it says 4218. So we go ahead and show you the breakdown of the charges there. So if you didn't know, Boston charges you minimum of a dollar or 2.95%. So in this case, 2.95% is greater than a dollar. Um, and then if tickets then were to charge, which we don't right now, we waive the fee, uh, there could be an additional dollar charge there. So all you have to do once you pull the ticket information is click choose payment, select the credit card that you can store in here, and pay the ticket. So. The reason that I wanted to show you on my phone is because if your ticket doesn't exist in the database, what we do is, and I'm not sure I have the screen in here, but if you scan it, we'll save your violation number to your phone, and then we'll ping the Boston system until the ticket can be paid. So if you download this app, make sure you enable push notifications, because we'll send you a push notification once the ticket's live, and therefore, Go ahead, if your credit card's already in there because you're a repeat offender, it'll take you two taps and your ticket's paid. The city of Boston, in this case, if it's a Boston ticket, will send you a confirmation email that you've uh, paid your ticket. So with that, that's Ticket Zone. Any questions? So currently it's just Boston, but in the next month or so, you'll, you'll see it in many of the major cities across the country. So is there um, any data that you have or plans to uh, kind of deal with the cities uh, since you're going to increase their revenue stream by you know, driving people to potentially pay, t pay tickets uh, more often than just tickets that never ever do? Yeah, so that's definitely a possibility. One thing from the municipality side is the uh, increasing the time to collection. Right. Because for every late fee that they issue, that's dollars that are not in their pocket. And they would rather take the dollars than issue the late fee. Um, so that's totally something you know that we've thought of, but uh, I have a meeting with the city of Boston tomorrow, so I'll tell you how that goes. I'm sorry. Do I have stats on that? Yes. So, um, so the question is, do I have stats on which locations get the most tickets? Uh, cities, are you saying specifically? 
Oh, in Boston. Yeah, so we've only launched this two weeks ago. I mean, I can tell you the five major sections that you can get tickets. Right, but I want you to get a ticket so that you have to use it. All the time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good. Any plans to work with insurance companies to mess drivers and insurance rates? Uh, no, no plans for that. <laughs> yep. Why a frog for a mascot? Why a frog? Uh, there's really no story behind it other than our terrible apps company is a dinosaur, and somebody threw out a frog one day. We came up with the name Ticket Zen, and our designer created our beautiful Zen frog. Yes. No, that's all fetched from the city of Boston. So that the enforcement officer has to enter all that information um, on the ticket when they create it for you. And so we just pull all that information back and display it to you this way. Yes? No. <laughs> yes? So you're still going to have to do that online. This is for all you offenders that know you screwed up. Any other questions? Yes. How are you getting the data from the city? John, you asked the one question I didn't want you to ask. Um, <laughs> so no, it's it's really not anything. So we've built uh, we've worked with the city to build an integration where we can take your violation number, send it to the city, and fetch all your data back. Yep. He does know what we've done, and he's one of our uh, biggest users. <laughs> yes. So what's the level of effort required to bring in a new city? It's a great question. So for us, it's just creating a new integration with their service provider. And most of the service providers across the country are, there are about three of them, two of which are the biggest. Um, and so you know, once you have a model for one, it's relatively easy to replicate. Yes? How do you map data between your app and the um, I mean, if just the database has the same fields that you fill out in, on the form, and we're just sending that information back to the city, and it fills it out through their payment processor, and then that's why the city will send you an email notification letting you know that it's paid, because you're paying through their payment processor. Yes? Yeah, so that's a great question. It, it, for Boston specifically, they can't do that because it's regulated by the state, uh, the price, but dynamic pricing is something that a lot of cities are, are toying around with. Any other questions? Sure. Uh, today, parking tickets tomorrow. I, right now, we're, we're laser focused on parking. It's a huge industry in the United States and beyond. So for us, this is a, a really interesting uh, opportunity. GPS and other uh, uh, mapping coordinates in the city, are you giving the ticket, the person who gets the ticket, uh, ammunition to fight the ticket because uh, theoretically there are certain time zones that in this area, uh, residential time zones that are six to six at night until sure. six in the morning or whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, so that information's collected anyway, so if they, I mean, their their device tells you the time that it was issued and the location. So you could, in theory, take a photo of that location if there's, for example, resident parking at six, and this said, you know, 655, you know that you could fight that ticket, because, or, no, if it's at 555, you know that you could fight that ticket. So that's another potential. I mean, you could do that with the current parking ticket that they put on your windshield. <coughs> Last question? How yep. competition? I think there is a company out there that does this. I was looking at developing a parking application a couple years ago. Did some research on it. I think there was a company. So there are a lot of companies that do pay for parking, uh, mobile pay for parking, but nobody has really taken on the pay a parking ticket. Um, so there are a lot of companies out there who are trying to say, hey, we'll help you find a parking spot, or we'll help you do this or that related to 
parking, but nothing for after the fact. Okay, thank you guys very much. Don't forget to download it. It's available in iOS and Android. Join Boston New Technology Meetup, sponsor an event or a venue, present your idea, and attend to network with Boston's brightest. Details are at www.bostonnewtech.org and in the video description.